Well, uh, first of all, thank you very much uh, for coming to our, uh, to our conference. Uh, thank you for um, being here with us. And uh, the first question would be about the conference overall. Ah. I would like to ask your opinion um, about the conference and what do you think, what participant uh, gained from it? Well, I really appreciated the energy in the room, how the questions got stronger and stronger as we mm -hmm. continued and the engagement level went up. And so the questions got really quite precise. What about this situation or that? So that I think people gained a lot because they were really saying, can coaching work when it's difficult? Mm -hmm. And they're hearing me give examples of how it can. Yes, this very thing we're talking about isn't abstract. It's very concrete. It's very usable, practical work in the long run in your own organization. Okay, thank you. Uh, the second question uh, is about um, is inspiration and transformational change. Since mm -hmm. you've talked a lot about it, could you please uh, emphasize how is it possible to inspire transformational change? Ah, it's an important question because uh, we're working with people who've built many kinds of cynicism systems. Mm -hmm. It takes a while to uh, get curious again when we've said probably it's impossible where, you know, people are this way and they don't change or, you know, the brain is like a train track. We get on a one track mind. All those old thought systems are something people need practice to move beyond them. And that practice often requires real commitment by the coach, listening by the coach, and it may take not just one coaching session, it may take several months of step-by-step -step shifts, what we call incremental work, and then uh, people start to break through. Now this is what we saw happen in the room. The morning, people were like, well, what's this gonna be? Can it really work? And then gradually, step by step, uh, the mind opens up and people say, well, what if we could? So that's what transformational change is about. We need to build it. Thank you. Uh, the next question is about coaching style management. Mm. Uh, could you please explain what is coaching style management and what kind of impact can that have on business development? Okay. Now, coaching style management is a big general overall term. It basically focuses on an attitude. More attitude than methodology. The attitude is one of support, and real interest in the employee becoming uh, able to fulfill their own dreams. Not dreams for becoming rich or famous or any of that kind of stuff, but dreams to really uh, become the kind of leader, the effective worker, the effective thinker they want to be. So uh, a coaching style of management starts with three main skill sets. One is the skill set to focus on the positive with each employee. Who is this person becoming? We see them down the line after they've done some work and gone through some ropes and in our mind's eye we see who they are becoming as a leader, even as they begin in this job. Second skill set has to do with asking open-ended questions. And they're open-ended questions that uh, allow the person to assess what they need to know to take their own next step. So they're often questions about uh, why it's important to that person to accomplish that, how they're going to proceed with that difficult step, 
there are questions where we puzzle together with the person. What if it was possible? How might you do it? And uh, a coaching style of management means that we have patience with the person mm -hmm. as they um, look at you know, the areas where they have maybe fears. Okay. And we still stay with them. Third area is we need to notice where the person is at. Are they at the beginning step? Do they need training from us? Then we give it. Or we find ways they can get it. Do they need to be encouraged to jump into the water for themselves? You know, take their own uh, self-trust and move forward. So we need to be looking at the step they're on and where they're going next. Now these are some of the key areas, all in the frame of assisting the person to focus. Focus on what's needed. Okay, um, and the question about, uh, you were taking about how many months it would take. Uh, a sub-question I would say to that, uh, how long do you think it takes to train a, a manager in coaching style management? For some managers, it can take three days. Okay. They get the idea, it's like ice cream to them. Uh, we do a, a managerial coaching program, small, easy practices, and they're ready to roll. And the most important thing then is the practice over time, where we have people get together and report how's it going week by week by week and keep the energy high. So others take a longer period of time, but uh, the important thing is communication as they're learning and practice as they're learning. Okay. And the last question is very important to us as representatives from, for, from Cascade Consultants. We value our uh, partnership and we are the exclusive representative of, Cas uh, of Ericsson Coaching International in Armenia. And uh, we would like to know your opinion on our cooperation on the partnership. Oh, so far I'm very happy. Look at this wonderful conference and uh, the work you put into making it happen. I'm uh, actually very pleased seeing this group of uh, successful women working together. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with us. Great. Thank you.